Hey everybody, it's Let Your Light Shine. I got Steve-O. Oh yeah. We're checking out a, oh yeah. We're checking out a new casino that Steve pointed out. <laughs> it's called the Klondike Sunset Casino. I didn't even know about this place. It's on Sunset Road in Henderson. 444 Sunset Road. Are you sure it's just 444? Yeah, that's what it says on okay. the There you go. So let's go check it out so you can check it out. Um, I read a little bit about it, and I don't know about right now, but they were known for their $1.99, like, uh, I think breakfast specials and stuff, and they had 10 cent roulette at the time. I don't know if that's happening anymore. Hopefully. Also, we have our tchotchkes. Let me bring them out for you. Hang on a second. All right, first one again. He's back. He's got a name. You guys... Some of you guys commented down below on the last video I did about tchotchkes and do they bring good luck. Well, he didn't as he kind of not really. Anyway, steve going to be using him today. His name, thank you to one of our subscribers, is Paco the Taco. So yay, you won. Paco here is going to be Steve's tchotchke. And mine, I printed out a picture of my Papito. That's right, my stuffed animal. He is now with me. He's gonna be my good luck charm. Let's hope we both have our charge keys. But that's not about charge keys right now. This is all about the Klondike Casino. All right, let's go in. All right, I just wanted to show you parking is decent. Uh, is that a hearse back there? Okay, dokie. Anyway, just wanted to show you the parking lot. So there you go. It's kind of busy. Yeah, well, it is a Tuesday around 4-ish p.m., so I I could let this go. who knows? It might get busier later. Yes, Steve-O. A hearse? I, I already pointed that oh, out. Did. Yeah, it's, I was like, what the heck? All right, let's go inside. <laughs> All righty, let's uh, do a discreet walk around. So. The Klondike Grill must be the place where you can get your stuff in that. Huh. I was thinking, Kaching Cash. First I thought caching. Like, ooh, geocaching. That'd be a cool slot, actually. It should be a geocaching slot machine. So the bars are still closed, unfortunately. But thankfully they have gaming outside of the bars. So hopefully we can find our usual video poker. Um, yeah. So you can get your rewards over here. So they are not affiliated with anybody that I'm aware of. I thought maybe Sunset because it says Klondike Sunset Casino, but no. When I read about it, it didn't. I think they were going to have, I don't know, the whole history. I don't want to go and be completely incorrect. There's the sports uh, uh, area, sports book, you want to call it. So uh, no one's there at the reward center, but I think. Sometimes, even if you only go once and sign up and you don't, you know, sometimes they offer some good rewards for first time uh, players. All right, so we are back outside real quick. We got our little rewards card. This is definitely not affiliated with any other casino, so you have to get your own little card. Sometimes, like I said, they get new beginner player stuff. It was just spin the wheel, get some points. I think Steve got 750, I got 500. The reason why we're outside though is because the security guard noticed my purse here he says that's a backpack and i said what's well, purse and he goes it's a backpack you can't bring backpacks in here and i'm like and then a lady that was completely drugged out of her mind was walking around crazy and the rewards guy pointed to the security guards like hey look at she's back i'm like okay i'm already getting a creepy vibe about this place and he goes yeah the last time we kicked her out she went and stripped all her clothes off and was naked in the parking lot. I'm like, now the security guard's telling me that I need to take my purse, backpack, and put it in the car. And I've got a naked sketch LA <laughs> wandering the parking lot. I'm like, ah, so we're not really sure if we want to play here or not, yeah. or take our chances. Or use I, our tchotchke somewhere else. I'm making up my mind. Where, uh, where do you think? So we're not going to... We're going to... So you saw the inside of Sunset. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's probably going to be the first and last maybe for us. I think we're going to head yonder towards the Sunset Station or favorite wildfire. Um, we'll let you know 
I think this turned into a quick walk around, get the hill out, go test our new tchotchkes again, and hope you're enjoying this vlog. This is weird. All right, bye you guys. All right, bye for a second. We'll see you guys in a hot second. Well, we are at another place. Steve suggested, let's go back to Barley's. Let's see if I can win again, because he walked out last time with like $109 playing Kino. Um, who knows? Let's see if Paco the taco gives him any luck or not and see if Popito gives me any luck. But that was that was a very uncomfortable moment at the other casino. I'm not digging it. I, uh, no likey. The fact that a backpack situation is sketchy and that the security says I have to treat everyone the same. If you're walking around the backpack, everyone else is going to say, why can't I bring my backpack? And I'm like, why is that an issue? What are they bringing in their backpacks? Uh, the rewards guy said something about they've had issues with people with their backpacks and bringing it into the bathroom. Like again, what are you bringing in your said backpack that is making it so sketchy? That alone is kind of sketchy. So no, thank you. <laughs> so let's go to Barley's and uh, see how our luck goes. No waitress yet. Hey, we got Papito, and we've got. Taco the Taco with Steve. Yay. All right, and we decided to play a Game King multi-game. Look at there's roulette, blackjack, slots, kino, and poker in denominations from five cents to a dollar. You know I'm gonna be playing five cent max, twenty five cents. So let's uh, let's do this. Come on, Papito. Me and you. All right, we're switching machines. So we're not doing as well. I'm at 986 and Steve O's at 355. He's got his Paco the Taco watching the game, telling him what to do. I got Pepito staring at me, telling me what to do. You know, I don't know, we'll update you. All right, I had to put Pepito in my purse because the video, the, um, the one I was originally at, was not calibrated, wasn't working, I had to cash out, moved over to another one, it was only 25 cent minimum. I'm like, no, I want to do five cent. Move over to the original one I wanted to be at, but Steve-O over here said, no, I don't want to be by the front door. And I'm like, but I'll sit by the front door. Anyway, I'm playing four card Kino, and I'm normally playing 20 cents a hand, like five cents each card, so, uh, and now I kind of wish I did a max bet, of course, but you know, that's the problem about gambling is woulda, coulda, shoulda. Anyway, there you go. All right, literally 30 seconds later, maybe four hands I played, I won another 93. So I'm thinking tchotchkes are not good luck. I think you should just not rely on an idol and <laughs> just have fun. <laughs> Alright guys, we are ending our day, thank God, at Barley's. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I kind of mentioned to my buddies, I went to the most sketchiest casino ever. And I didn't say what, who, where, when, anything. And one of my buddies said, Klondike Casino? I'm like, oh my God, I guess it's a known thing. I didn't know. I really need, more, I really need more friends out here, guys. Oh my God. Okay. And I had to make my phone go on silent because they're going crazy on the comments right now. Okay, we had a great time at Barley's. Um, okay, having um, tchotchkes, I wouldn't say does anything. I, I, I just have fun. Don't I'm rely on an idol. Yeah, eh, don't no tchotchkes, no idols, nothing. Just I love Pepito, but eh. <laughs> anyway, but at the end of the day, I hate, I hate that. At the end of the day, I hate that saying, but I'm going to say it. At the end of the day, um, I was playing four card Kino at the very end and I kept winning. So I ended up with $19 and five cents. Something like that, yeah. Okay. Six so cents, I, actually. so basically, okay. So I so lost whatever. 94 cents at the end of it all. Steve lost all his 20 bucks and then Things really turned around, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> so Paco yeah. the Taco did not do well, even with the name. So we're not going to do any more tchotchkes. We're just going to play for fun, get some free drinks with our tip. Of course, we tip the people. And I'm going to mention, did you know the lady's name? Tammy or Tamara? Or something the one like that was helping Tammy, you with I the think. gaming? Tammy. 
there was a girl named Tammy, a lady, I'm sorry, she's a lady, um, very sweet, Steve was complaining that his game was too loud, I'm not going to lie, it was not really loud, she was trying so hard to make it the flying boat down, and she couldn't, then we moved because we weren't doing that well, so then she found us over there, and she goes, and well, I don't know, she was checking in on us, going, how's the game, is it too loud for you, <laughs> I don't know. She was kind of. She was a really cool lady. So highly recommend. Say hi to her if you see her here at Barley's. And I don't know. Do you have anything more to say? No, no. I just think that uh, maybe it's all your fault that I lost because of these tchotchkes. Oh my goodness. Do you guys think that is? <laughs> I, I know. I, I, I forced him to do the tchotchke Paco the taco thing. I'm sorry. I like Steve-o. Paco the taco. He is a cool dude. But he is not a good luck dude. He's just a cool dude to hang out. And so is Pepito. I love Pepito. He's my favorite. Um, anyway, guys, we had a good time. Service here is awesome. The people are so nice out here. We we're, were actually thinking about doing the sports book horse races, if they have them. They weren't running. I think you have to be, you know, um, I'm not sure when or when they cover the sports books in this portion. Yeah, we don't know. There was nothing on the TV, so. I think that's on our, like, bucket list to do, like, hang out at the sports book and do, like, the horse races. I don't know. I've never done it before. I don't know how it works. Again, yeah, so it's just learn. for fun. You don't want to rely on your income to do this stuff. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys for watching. This was a different spin. We were not expecting to be out here. We were supposed to be over there. So, uh. Comment down below your thoughts. Have you ever um, actually went to that casino or just your thoughts in general? So we appreciate, we appreciate you. <laughs> yep. And uh, that's it. Bye everybody.